Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is Tui Zero IQJ. So this radio here is a TID Radio TDH3. This was sent to me a few weeks back from TID Radio. Now I've done a few videos on this, but a comment came in last week saying, can I do a programming video? Now there are three ways you can program this radio. And I'm going to show you all three in this video. Now you can program it via Chirp, you can program it via the Bluetooth with the Odd Master app or OD Master app, you can also program it with the front panel, which has all them in the video. If you're going to program it via Chirp, no special cable needed. This is the one that came in the box. You can plug it into your computer and you can plug it in to the side here via USB C and you'll be good to go. So let's go and program this radio. Okay, with the radio connected to the computer via USB and switched on, press on radio, press on download from radio, and here you've got vendor TID radio and model number is TDH3. If it doesn't appear in the list, your TDH3, just update to more recent version of CHIRP. If it doesn't read on the ham, try GMRS and try H3, but we'll do TD-H3 ham, press OK, press OK again. It's going to read all the information off the radio. You see here, it's got a list of repeaters up stored in the radio. If I go down to the bottom, and let's uh, do a repeater and a simplex frequency, so simplex frequency we're going to do is 433.400 and name we're going to call it um, cube 70 centimeters now we've got no tone or anything like that because it's just a simplex frequency we're just going to press enter and memory number 65 we'll do 433.325 and we'll call that gb3 VH and we're going to select a tone so press on the down arrow do tone and it's 82.5 and where we've got duplex we're going to press it and we're going to select plus and the offset is 1.6 going to press OK FM power is high leave everything as standard and we're just going to press on radio. I love to radio. Press OK and then press OK again. It's now going to clone all the information back over to the radio. It tends to go a bit quicker using the USB C cable it does with the prolific programming cables. Okay, to program this radio via the OD Master app or the Master app, turn the radio on. And make sure your Bluetooth's turned on. If you don't see the Bluetooth, press and hold the blue button. And it should turn the Bluetooth on. There you go. And we'll turn it on again. Turn the Bluetooth on. Now, when you run the OD Master app for the first time, it's going to ask you to log in. We're going to press on skip login. You only need, it, you only need the account if you want to save your lists to your phone. So we're going to press on connect Bluetooth. And we're going to do, it's found TID Radio or TDH3. There we go. Let's turn the Bluetooth on. Going to go select model. We're going to go to TID Radio. And we're going to do, I'm going to do H3 Ham. If it doesn't work on Ham, try GMRS and try just H3, but I'll try Ham. Now we're going to go to Read. Going to press on Read. And it's going to read all the information from the radio and go over to our, our phone. Let me take a few seconds. So we're on 40%, 50. Let's turn that down. And you see here, we've got programs and settings. So we want to program in a channel. So on the top there, channel, Press the down arrow, and the app has been updated. This is good, this feature. You see there, it's all in green to say it's got data on it. If you go down, you see there, memory number 67. It says no, we're going to press on 67, and we can give it an RX frequency. So we do 145.425, and text frequency, we do the same. We've got no frequency hop, no uh, CTCSS tone or decoding, anything like that. And ticks program a bit high. 
did the band width as norm, uh, wide and we're going to call it a name we're going to call it um, cube two meters and press on done at that point we can then write information back to the radio if you wanted to add a repeater in channel number we do 68 and we do a four uh, three three point three two five and the TX frequency is four three four point nine two five we leave everything off frequency hop off and TX um, TX encode that's 82.5 and TX power we'll leave that on high and everything else is standard and we're going to do name GB 3 V H press on done to check if it's correct and then we're going to press on right it's going to write all information back to the radio There we go, it's written all the information back to the radio. Okay, the third and final way to program this radio is via the front panel programming. Let me zoom in on the screen. You can do a simplex frequency or we can do a repeater, but we'll do both. So we want to program in, again for the example we use GB3VH, so I'm just going to type in 433325. We're going to press the blue button here to get the menu and we're going to go to number 13 which is TX CTCSS press the blue button and we can select 82.5 you can use up and down arrows to go up and down to 82.5 press the blue button go up again you want menu number 23 and it says direction you can press the blue button go up for plus press the blue button and the offset press the blue button again and we're going to do zero one six zero 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 and press the blue button now if you go back out you'll see that it says VFO four three 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 two five press and hold it you see there VH has come back to us want to store that in memory we'll store it in memory number 70 so we go through the menus again and it's got memory number 25 memory 69 press the blue button and we do number 17 now when you go through the menus it says ch68 69 and when there's no ch by it, it means the memory is clear so memory number 70 and just press the blue button there and if i go to vfo using the orange button it says number 70 433 let's go back to um, VFO mode. If I type in a frequency of 433400, and we're going to press the menu button, and we're going to go to, let's go down, we'll change number 25 to no direction, we'll turn the offset off, and we go down again, and we'll turn the CTCSS off. So we've got no CTCSS, and that is a simplex frequency I use around here 433400. Let's put that into its memory. You can just type in the number, so 25, press the blue button, go up to 71, and press the blue button again. There we go, go back out, and we're going to press the Virgin Media button there, VM button. You'll see there, menu number 71 is 433400, and Memory number 70 is 433-225, which you programmed into the radio. Now, as far as I'm aware, there is no way to enter in the name of the repeater or simplex frequency using the front panel programming. You can do it on the app, the OD Master app. You can also do it on the chirp, but there's no way to do it as far as I'm aware on the radio. 
If you found a way to turn the radio, post it in the comments below. So there we go, the TID Radio TDH3. Showed you three ways how to program this radio. You can program via Chirp, via the Bluetooth using the OD Master app, and you can also program it with the front panel programming. If you found it with some useful to do, get a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But that was an easy way of programming this radio. Nice and simple, and the good thing about it, it's got USB-C, so you just plug in that cable, and Chirp recognises it straight out of the box. Now it's recognised on my Mac, it's also recognised on my Linux boxes, which we used in the video. Can't bounce with Windows because I don't own a Windows machine, but I will try at some point on a friend's Windows machine. Cheers, Gabe. And we'll see if it's going to read and what have you on there. I dare say it will do. Take it same to Mac. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in another video. This is 2E0 IQJ. 73s for now.